Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build an exponent function. Now, an exponent function is basically going to allow us to take a certain number and raise it to a specific power. So in Python, there's actually a really easy way to do this. I could come down here and I could print, we could say like two, and we can just do two multiplication signs. And I could say three. And this is basically just going to be two raised to the third power. So you can see here, I can just print this out and we get eight because that's two cubed. So it's really easy to do exponents in Python, but I want to show you guys how we can use something like a for loop in order to create a function like this of our own. So we'll actually create an exponent function that will basically do this and we'll use for loops to do it. So let's create a function. So I'm just going to say def and now we need to give this function a name. So why don't we call it raise to power. And inside of here, I'm going to accept two parameters. The first parameter is going to be the base number. And then the second parameter is going to be the power number. So we're going to take the base number and raise it to the power number. So over here, we can just make a colon. Now, inside of this function, we need to start writing some code. Here's the thing. Inside the function, we don't necessarily know the value of this pow num, right? For example, if we knew that we were just trying to like square this number or cube this number, I could just return like base num times base num, right? That would square the number or I could cube the number base num. So right, so this would be like the number cubed. The problem is though, we don't know like right off the bat what this value is gonna be. Right, this could change, like the user can decide that. So in order to write this function, we're actually gonna need to use a for loop. And I'm gonna show you guys how we can use a for loop to basically figure this out. So the first thing I wanna do is create a variable and I'm just gonna call it result. And we're just gonna set result equal to one. So we're gonna start this off at one. Now I wanna create a for loop. So I'm basically just gonna say four and over here, I basically want to specify like a index. So I'm going to say index in, and now I want to specify a range and a range will basically range us through a collection of numbers. So basically I want to multiply the base num by itself as many times as the pow num specifies, right? And so over here, I can just make this a range of pow num, right? And so we'll basically loop through this for loop as many times as pound num. So if pound num is two, we'll loop through it twice. If pound num is four, we'll loop through it four times. And every time through the loop, we'll multiply base num by itself. Or actually, you'll see we're gonna multiply it by this result. And so down here inside of this for loop, I can basically say result is equal to result times base num. This should actually give us everything we need to take this number to the specific power. So the actual like result, you know, of doing the math is going to get stored inside of this result variable. So the first time through the loop, we're just multiplying base num by one, right? And so now result is going to become the same value as base num. The second time through the loop, so this would be if we were squaring the number, we're basically multiplying result by base num again. So it's essentially just base num times base num. The third time through the loop, we're multiplying result times base num. So we're essentially just like cubing the number. So that's essentially what this for loop is doing for us. So the last thing I want to do is right here below this for loop, I'm just going to return the result. So we'll be able to return whatever the result of raising the number to the power was. All right, so let's come down after this function and we're just going to call it. So I'm just going to say, Actually, we'll print out the answer. So I'm going to say raise to power and inside of these parentheses, remember, we can pass two numbers. So let's raise three to the second power. So we're just going to square three and we'll see how this works. So let's run the program and you can see down here in the console, we're getting nine. Let's try something a little bit uh, crazier. Let's try three to the fourth power and we'll run this and we get 81. So that's three to the fourth power. Let's try two to the third power and we're getting eight. Yeah, so that makes sense. So our raise the power function is working just as expected and I'll just walk you guys through it one more time. So inside of this function, we're taking in two pieces of input. We're taking in a base number 
and we're taking in a pow number. So that's like the base number is going to be taken to the power number. I'm defining a variable here called result. And result is where we're going to store the actual result of doing the math. Now we specify this for loop. And I'm basically saying that I want to loop through this range of numbers. When I put pound num here, it's basically going to range from zero all the way up to, but not including the power number. So we'll basically loop through power number of times, if that makes sense. And then every time through the loop, we're just multiplying result by base num. And then we're just returning results. So that's the basics of building a power function. And obviously, like if you're just trying to take a number to a power in Python, it's really easy. But this kind of shows you like the internal workings, right? For a function like that to work, we would have to actually type something out just like this. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.